and uh, being part of this master program gave me more exposure to different sets of people who are coming hi everyone thanks for tuning into d education in this episode we have a very special guest with us hi gokul welcome to d education hi tej thank you for having me in your uh, session so gokul how was your saturday so far uh, it's been great because i am right now in my hometown with my family enjoy that's great gokul so if you could give a brief about yourself to our audience out there i uh, sure that so uh, like i did my schooling and all in kerala itself uh, in the kendri K- vidyalaya so i was here in uh, trivandrum till uh, 12th and uh, i was like i was into like drawing and uh, art uh, at that point of time itself like i was being part of it and i was going through it and uh, the initial idea was quite different and uh, being a ias officer civil service or becoming a ca and uh, later down the line uh, i thought it's not the genre that i want to end up in and uh, since uh, i was into art and all i had multiple conversation with the professors and all from different institutes and uh, i uh, was part of one of the sessions where i had a conversation with one of the professors from nid shekhar mukherjee and i was more into animation like i was interested in animation and uh, then he gave me the guidance about like how to go with it and if you want to go into nid what you need to do and uh, whether you should go straight away after the college into nid or do you want uh, you should do a degree and then go into nid so that kind of perspectives and all came in and uh, that uh, conversation actually helped me a lot and uh, that uh, gave me an idea about like uh, what to do next and for the graduation i joined the college of fine arts here itself like one of the best colleges and uh, and uh, uh, there also there was a set of uh, entrance examinations which were conducted for three colleges and i was selected in the you know, the top most one uh, which is situated in trivandrum itself and later like four years I was here working again in my hometown, and uh, here there was three options: whether to go with a uh, like uh, applied arts, which is kind of like digital uh, design art and all, or do you want to pursue painting or sculpture? Where my perspective was quite different, and I just jumped into sculpture with a mindset that this is something that I won't be able to learn by myself if I'm sitting at home or in any other space. and uh, also to understand how to uh, see things uh, in a three dimensional manner rather than seeing it in a two dimensional manner so because uh, what uh, people do perceive is like uh, if you are seeing something like let's say i'm just sitting in front of the laptop so i'll be like picturizing it in a two dimensional manner and not thinking about what would be the perspective that comes in on the other end so i just wanted to bring in those kind of perspective and like modulate my mindset so that i would be able to understand what happens on the other end or to pursue that uh, like uh, or or to pursue that thing in a manner that i could just if i want to like turn it around like how will it look in the 3d manner uh, and that kind of perspective gave me to like pursue uh, 3d and uh, also something that came into my mind is that maybe like later down the line in the next era and all 3d also comes into place where it will be a one major part of the design so which is actually in the boom right now like right now it's just in a starting stage because we can see a lot of icons coming in 3d and 3d being coming into the market and all so right now i'm just adding on this skill set in the digital space and learning about it and after doing my specialization there was a very hard time for me uh, like a long 3 years span where i was struggling and uh, like i was not sitting idle but uh, i was like doing a lot of works like i did multiple uh, government projects uh, freelancing mural painting projects photography uh, where i did candid photography uh, all this all these works were done with a perspective that i wanted to like be in the design segment and to understand uh, different uh, platforms which are existing in the design area uh, how it has been correlated and what is the core of design so 
so even if i'm just doing a photography uh session all that comes into mind is like where to like frame it the golden ratio all those things and uh, also i was like um like self learning into the graphic designing segment and there also comes in this hierarchy rhythm repetition and all those things that are been used so that so everywhere i am just correlating the core part of design and uh, learning more and more from different different spaces even while doing your art and all like how to like go with the space and what needs to be done how to make it more appealing or effective what should be done on that space based on what is the purpose of the space and kind of like improving my thinking skills and then why i need to do and doing a little bit of research and all to understand how to support it and it also gave me more understanding about how to uh, engage in a conversation with a client since you are doing a uh, sorry freelancing work you have to like convince the client to go forward with the uh, project and how can i do it trying to understand their mindset and like trying to uh, bring in a space where you and the client can gel in and there are also instances where you are not able to correlate with what he wants and you have to drop the projects so that went on but uh, this was not something that was planned it was like happening in my life like this something that life was taking me and but i didn't want to like sit idle like i would like to walk and fall rather than standing idle somewhere okay rather than like bringing in something into my life that kind of like i just wanted to like keep myself occupied and uh, i i can't sit i uh, sit somewhere and do nothing like i'll be like en- I, i would like to be engaged in some and uh, being engaged in design and art and all is something fulfilling for me so that helps me like being more and more productive and also like and that is my thing and uh, then the happy moment came in like getting into iit hyderabad so that's how the journey went till now and let's see what happens next thank you so much kokul so could you please help us telling you know, this format like what is long what is short what sort of questions are there what sort of interview process that you been through yeah sure so uh, the thing is that uh, since uh, like when i uh, when i applied at that point of time the covid was hitting really bad in our uh, place and uh, everyone was attending that uh, uh, segment in from home okay so at that point of time the question is where like you can take about 3 days to finish it up uh, like you will be getting a set of questions and you can just opt which way you want to go it will be like one or two questions that you have to go through and give them the idea and how you perceive and all those things and what is your skill so you have to just throw in whatever the talent that you have into the papers and then send it across to them and after that you will be like given a short that question where you have to sit in front of the invigilator uh, with the screen on and you will be like doing like short that question in front of them uh, in a span of i think 30 to 1 hour uh, i don't remember the exact time that's how the structure went and if you are clearing these two rounds then you will be called upon for the interview where they will be asking why you want to pursue and all those kind of questions and how you like modulated yourself and what is the journey and what do you want to pursue all the those kind of questions and right now since we are uh, like in the campus last time we were like curating the uh, test that happened inside the campus where uh, it was structured in a way uh, that uh, the students needs to like get registered and come to a point where they'll be given some uh, uh, like a character so which i shouldn't explain a lot <laughs> because it's kind of inside information so i'll just give you a brief about it so you have to come here and you have to collect a certain thing okay and then you have to go into another place you have to get another thing from there and then you will be going along with that to a space where you will be attending the exam and the details of the exam i'm not revealing it <laughs> let it be a surprise for the rest of the people because if they are following the same strategy then i'm just <laughs> giving you to the <laughs> i'll be in a very bad state going back to the campus so that's how it is going on and after that uh, they'll be getting into different panels there'll be like faculties they'll be doing the interviews and later down the line 
uh, they'll be called upon if they are selected. So that's how the process is going on. And uh, I'll also tell you about the number of students who are in a in a batch. So uh, earlier it was around twelve people. Right now, from last two years, uh, like the batch uh, number is around forty forty five. Uh, so they have increased the batch where a certain set of people will be from seed and rest of the people will be in the self-sponsored category. Thank you so much, Kokal. It was really helpful, uh, you explaining the format. So let's talk about the fee structure and uh, how was your experience staying in the campus? So for seed students, it will be like uh, they have to pay a very minimal amount of money. So uh, right now, I think it's around like 50, 60 K thousand. So, and uh, they also have this teaching assistance ship. So where they'll be like uh, assisting their professors and they'll be getting back some set of money. So that I, I think that will uh, like nullify the amount that they are paying to uh, the institute. So basically, that's kind of in a way that you don't have to pay anything when you are a seed student. When it comes to a self-sponsored student, you will be like paying around like 2.5 lakhs for uh, the tuition and everything. And apart from that, for the hostel facilities and all, you'll be like paying around like 40k, uh, 40, 50k. Let's uh, take it in that manner. Uh, and, uh, and it comes up to 3 lakhs per semester, like 6 months. And in this uh, 40k, you will be getting uh, like a single room. And also, you will be getting the mess facilities like three times, like uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner. So that's how the free structure is. And you'll be getting multiple like uh, uh, facility things and all. Like you can access a lot of things inside the campus. Thanks, Gokul. So now let's talk about subject and the specialization and the course structure and all that. So what was your specialization and how's the course been structured and what sort of experience you had with the professors out there? So uh, like I'll start off with uh, how the professors are. They are very chill, like they are very supportive and all. And we have a lot of uh, facilities over there, like uh, photography room, uh, sound, uh, sound testing and mixing room like editing room and we have a certain certain room for like just sitting out and working and uh, we have classrooms so that's the thing and uh, like professors are very uh, helpful uh, they'll be like in in the campus and they'll be helping you out on what all needs do you have and you can just approach them at any point of time you can just contact them like certain people, uh, certain professors will be like active in mail uh, or we can just communicate with uh, through WhatsApp. So that's how it is going on. So uh, as per the specialization, so right now the structure in IIT Hyderabad uh, about uh, specialization is in a way that it's kind of student driven specialization. There are like um, uh, faculties who will be guiding you through uh, product design, uh, visual design, animation, and uh, UI UX user experience design so it's up to you to like go with what you want to pursue in the uh, longer run in your career so it's more of like in the first year you will be like going through a set of structure where you will be like understanding the course like you know like different sets of people are coming into the batch because there are a lot of engineers architects and who might have done some other degree uh, so a set of pool of people who are coming from different different genres has to like come into the same platform. So we'll be getting a base structure where we'll be like learning about design, what is the basic things, what is the design fundamentals and all the stuff in the first six and uh, six months. And uh, later down the line in the second semester, we'll be able to like choose some certain areas where you can explore more. So these are the subjects that will be helping you to identify what you want to pursue in the longer run. And uh, then in the third semester and the fourth semester, you can do your own projects based on what you like and what you love. So that actually modulates you to like go in which direction you want to. You don't have to like pre-decide and come into the masters here, uh, which is quite different from the rest of the institutes. Like in the rest of the institutes, you are just going into a straightforward 
segment like i want to go into animation so i'm going to do masters in animation so here right now you can just come in and understand what you love the most and then pursue so i am pursuing my career in user experience design and uh, this came into my mind later down the line because earlier i was kind of a person who hated user experience design because i was kind of like it's very like blunt you have to sit in front of the system and work and all and i was uh, not aware of what all things happens behind that so it was kind of a up front like friend friend and thing that i uh, was in my mind and it was kind of kind of biased later down the line i came to understand that i was kind of doing user experience design even while i was working on my freelancing projects because i was like approaching the clients like understanding what they need and doing research on what needs to be done and then coming up with the pro- product so these kind of things which i was doing uh, like in the beginning of my career after doing the graduation uh help me understand that what i was doing is kind of a part of user experience design then i came to know that i'll be good in this part i'll be like more into like problem solving and all then that modulated me into going into this direction and right now i'm pursuing my career in user experience design Thank you so much, Kokul, for the, such a great breakdown. So now let's talk about your experience in terms of getting an internship or a placement right off from the campus. How was your that sort of experience, and also your alumni network? So uh, we have uh, two segments where you can do the internships. So just after the second semester, there is a three month span where you can do a short internship, which is quite mandatory in uh, IIT Hyderabad that you need to do an internship. it can be either in an industry or you can just work with the faculty that is up to you like uh, in that point of time also we'll be having a certain set of people who are who are going to be assigned as internship coordinators so they will be helping out fetching out details and like bringing in more opportunities for you within the campus so that you will be like having a, a chance of like getting into those companies and at certain point of time it will be like difficult for some people like who don't have a prior experience uh, and uh, they might find it difficult like i'm just being frank over here so you don't have to let yourself down and it doesn't matter uh, so you can do a uh, internship within the campus and so there are a lot of opportunities within the campus because there is innovation centers uh, like uh, incubation centers and also you can work under uh, like faculties also because our campus is right now like expanding like anything so more and more opportunities are coming within the campus itself so that actually encourages and uh, encourages everyone to be part of the iit hyderabad rather than going into the industry for the short span of time and later down the line uh, when it comes to the thesis and uh, thesis segment that is in the fourth semester where you can do a long internship that is six months internship at that point of time also like uh, the coordinators will be like coming up with uh, some opportunities which you can avail or else you can just approach it by yourself because uh, even while uh, going through this process we do apply uh, by ourselves also when we are just seeing some opportunities in the linkedin app which actually like gives you more opportunities and more a space to like explore and understand which direction you want to go even if you are in a certain segment so as in the case of placements i'm happy to say that i am part of the placement team where i am one of the placement coordinators and uh, was actively like bringing in companies for the uh, people in the campus so the process starts off in the may and we will be approaching companies and letting them know that the placement drive is happening and the companies comes in and registers in the portal that we have and the placement happens in the first week of december so that's how the process goes in and since our department is like a new department in industry it's not that well known but we are right now like uh, like letting them know that uh, there is uh, more talent that is there and one one small thing that happened uh, earlier down uh, earlier in the time is that since our uh, department was very small like uh, with a 12 member in each batch so what happens is that most of the companies doesn't come into the campus because of very less number so since our like batch has got expanded that actually encourages more companies to come in and uh, we have a certain set of companies which are very well known to the industries who uh, has come into the campus and uh, like 
uh, some of our friends are also in, uh, right now interning in many of the big mncs uh, and uh, and uh, i would like to say that like right now uh, like 99 percentage of the people are also placed from our batch so that's how the placement goes in like you can be assured that you will be getting a placement when and when it comes to the placement right because they, we are bringing in more and more opportunities and also it's in our hands like whoever is there in the batch like people will be selected for this uh, uh, responsibility and we managed to like bring in the maximum number of opportunities so also like there is uh, there are companies which will be coming in for engineering and all the other departments and we do have a collaborative mindset and we'll be having conversation with the other departments and uh, they also helps us and letting them know the rest of the companies which are not coming in for design and uh, like later down the line we have a good response from the companies which are just coming in for the engineering people and they also end up hiring design people which is very uh, helpful and uh, happy that they are also encouraging us to grow that's wonderful thank you so much kokul for these insights now let's talk about how's the cultural activities section iith and how culturally you've been nurtured in the campus uh cultural activities as in we have multiple fests uh like it's a common fest that will be conducted by the iit hyderabad itself so ilan and milan those are the main fests that are happening and uh, right now uh, as design department is trying to bring in design fest also which is kind of in a very starting stage we are like kind of like bringing in that kind of vibe and helping and understanding people to uh, why we need this kind of like we can see in uh, rest of the iits and all you will be like seeing some certain fairs there will be stalls and like they will be discussing about the design bringing in more design people and so that is also going to happen later down the line but right now it's kind of in a starting stage we are just bringing in that habit of like uh, conducting a design fair and like organizing it's kind of in a structuring uh, manner and in the cultural events like uh we will be like very enthusiastic and actively participating in the fest like that is uh, like one uh, like a set of set of prizes that will be won by the design people it's like kind of fun uh, like uh, it's kind uh, it's fun to be part of it it's more of like participating and uh, we like it's yeah, what to say about that it's more of like bringing in everyone together that's what happens in the culture fest because later down the line everyone is packed with their work and we just have two years and the curriculum is structured in a way that we do like engage in our activities rather than like we do socialize because we'll be like uh, spending more time in the mess and all like when we are having uh, lunch and all we do have a very healthy conversation and we do have like giving spaces and apart from that it actually uh, in cultural events uh, it also encourages us to like take some chill time Uh, with our friends and that actually encourages the social activities and uh, yeah that's that's how it is going on thank you so much kokul for sharing all this wonderful insight with us so now i'm going to ask you the concluding question which is how did design education shaped you into a better designer yeah a design education uh, how did it make me a better designer it's more of like <clears throat> uh rather than teaching us uh, uh like uh, what do we need to do uh, they uh, the faculties give us the liberty of like exploring more and understanding what do you need to do, what do you need to do and also uh one thing i learned in the uh, graduation segment is that when if someone is teaching we might end up going in that direction or the, in the perspective who is teaching you but uh, here since they are just modulating you in a way that you have to like work on yourself and bring in uh, the uh, ideas that you have in mind and they uh, the faculties will be like helping you out in a way that why don't you think in this manner rather than bringing in a decision over here they do just give you some instance where you will be able to think out loud and uh, explore more and uh, which actually encourages us to uh, think in a different perspective also rather than being in a structured manner and uh, uh, also like exploring more and uh, being part of this master program 
gave me more exposure to different sets of people who are coming in from different angles and to think in a not in just uh, a perspective that i had in mind also like to think in different areas which actually helped in like taking some decisions when you are designing something or going with a certain area or uh, what are the possibilities and what what needs to be thought of and these kind of things actually helped me a lot to become a better designer because since i was from the southern part of uh, india uh, after getting there uh, i feel i felt a little bit of isolated because a lot of conversation that happens within uh, the other friends uh, they were able to correlate like their genres and they they were talking about certain things you know so but when uh, at that point of time i felt little bit uh, why am i not thinking in that manner so these kind of thoughts came in so so that actually modulated and the thinking process and all changed that actually really helped the diversity that is there that is also very necessary in a person's life rather than being stuck on to the uh, society that you are living in so these kind of factors actually help me like understand and explore more so i think these are the factors that are like making me into a different and a better designer i guess thank you so much gokul for your time and sharing all these wonderful insights with us people who are watching this video i'll be attaching gokul's linkedin as well if you have any questions on iith or any help that you need you can feel free to ping him up uh, with that once again thank you so much gokul